I'm on holiday again in the village of Lowick in Northumberland and I'm out today for a shorter ride as it's forecast for thunderstorms this afternoon so let's hope they don't come early Hello again and welcome to another vlog You'll have noticed that there's been an absence of vlogs for the last few months Well that's been the result of a computer failure problems recovering my data training and completing the 200 kilometer goal that I gave myself for this year We're back on track now I hope and we'll get back to our fortnightly schedule of vlogs Now we'll continue eastwards until we reach the village of Fenwick and then continue on to our destination As we reach the hamlet of West Kylo we get our first view of our destination just over my shoulder Yes, the tide is out today and the causeway is open so we're going to make our way across to Holy Island I'm rolling into the village of Fenwick now and I'll be turning left here to make my way along to cross the A1 and reach the road that goes down to Holy Island If you fancy a short ride to Holy Island you could do worse than start from Fenwick Village As long as you park considerately you should have no trouble Now at the other end of the village where that horse box came from if you go slightly uphill there and you'll reach the Guru Coffee Store Plenty of cakes and coffee there that you can have either before or at the end of your ride The road that we're on at the moment is part of National Cycle Route 1 Although it does follow my philosophy of not going from A to B in a straight line Just follow the NCN1 signs but ensure that when you come to this junction ahead you do turn left otherwise you'll be on the A1 for a few hundred yards and as we reach the A1 just follow the path round to the left and then use the traffic islands to cross the A1 when traffic permits At the end of the service road and past the Lindisfarne pub we'll turn right on the road to Holy Island and Beale During the school holidays this road can be particularly busy So take care After crossing the main northeast railway line, join the path on the left. It's a combined pedestrian and cycle path. It'll allow the traffic to go past and you a nice easy ride up the hill. Just after the Barnet Beale is the entrance to the cycle path leading down to the causeway as you can probably see it's uh, just a gravel path not particularly good for road bikes and it does get a bit rougher further down so my view is to carry on down the road to the causeway and just beware of traffic On the final little descent down to the causeway just stop at the way by here 
and make sure to check the safe times of crossing. Today the safe time is 8.25 until 14.45 so just make sure you're back here by 14.45 Cross the causeway just now but one word of warning try not to ride through any puddles the last time I came across here this, uh, there was some quite deep potholes in addition the water in them will be salty and that will aid corrosion on your bike there's mud flats to both sides and there is a pilgrim walkway across from here to the holy island but unless you know what you're doing or are accompanied by a guide I would advise against it as there are some quicksand areas on the way across now we're passing the refuge for people who are silly enough to try and cross after the safe crossing time no need for that if you take care and look at the safe crossing times well it looks like this road has been resurfaced not so long ago so it's not too bad so we're just coming off the main causeway now onto the apron of the island there's no need to rush along the causeway and the apron just take your time and enjoy the ride have a look around you might see some pilgrims walking across the mud only disabled people with blue badges and residents are allowed to park in the village all visitors must park in this a massive car park as you might imagine just about everybody will want to leave at the same time so I suggest that you cross back to the mainland with at least an hour before the safe crossing time finishes I'm rolling straight into the middle of the village now there are many places where you can get sustenance here however I've always gone to Pilgrim's Coffee here on the right I've always found it good and Pilgrim's Gelato next door offer very good ice cream I'm just taking a run down now to the harbour you'll be able to see the castle ahead of us here you can see the upturned boat hulls being used as sheds and having a magnificent view across the harbour and to the castle you can also see the abbey from here but unfortunately both these tourist attractions have a fee for entry I've already made a vlog which details a trip that I made by car to the Holy Island so I'll leave a link for that in the corner as I said at the beginning of the ride I'm only out for a short ride today and I'm not hanging about on the island as the forecast for this afternoon is for thunder showers and if you look behind me you'll probably see that the clouds are gathering and some of them are getting pretty dark so I'm just going to make my way back across the causeway now and back onto the mainland there is only one road on and off so we'll make our way back past the visitors car park and back onto the apron of the island now you can see the tourists cars coming on in their droves if you ever get to the refuge here and find that the water is lapping across the road in front of you and behind you then don't try and go any further forward or backwards just get yourself in the refuge and wait apparently it's quite amazing how quickly the water can rise on the lower parts of the causeway here I am just coming safely back onto the mainland well out of the tidal reach of the sea approaching the A1 junction and we could go back to Fenwick the way we uh, came out 
but uh, I prefer to do it a different way by going straight across at the junction here and there we are safely across and now we'll just make our way up the hills straight into wind the hill just continues to climb some uh, nasty little sharp bits but generally it's fairly okay the gradient's not too bad we're just over the top of the hill now and you can see Lowick in the distance we can look back towards the sea and to be honest I'm not sure if you can see it or not it is actually raining out to sea so I'm glad I made it back to the mainland where it's still dry at present continue down the hill and past the farm and after the Z bend at the junction turn left so we're approaching the crossroads on the main Lowick to Fenwick Road so if you started your ride in Fenwick you could turn left here it's about three kilometers back along the road for me I'll be turning right and with two kilometers to go back to Lowick I hope you enjoyed that ride coming across the causeway to Holy Island and back it's a shorter ride than I'd normally do but with the threat of rain and thunderstorms this afternoon I thought it was advisable to do so just look at those clouds to the north that are making their way towards us thanks for watching and if you found this vlog interesting please give it a thumbs up it will help it spread to others so I'll finish the blog here and say goodbye until we meet again bye for now stay safe and enjoy your cycling